With their game faces on, the competitors lift their drones off the gym floor and fly down a track. All without a joystick or handheld controller. Now we're here today for the world's first brain drone race. Engineering students at the University of Florida in Gainesville compete in a mind control competition using drones, hoping to bring brain computer interface, or BCI, to the masses. Um, a race like this first gets the knowledge out. If you ask a lot of people about a brain computer interface, they say they have no idea. This headset is monitoring the electrical signals in my brain, allowing me to transfer them remotely to this drone. But this type of technology has been studied for decades and is helping paralysis patients regain the use of their limbs. I had a motorcycle accident. At the age of 16, Richard Tercy crashed his motorcycle into a tree. And I had a hangman fracture. So that left me paralyzed. Unable to move from the neck down, Tercy began therapy. Using another type of mind control technology, doctors were able to pinpoint where the brain signals got stopped due to spinal cord damage. Tercy was able to regain limited movement in his arms and legs after three years. I still feel hope that maybe a chance he can run again, walk again. More recently in Ohio, Doctors using BCI and a chip implant were able to help a paralyzed man move his hand again. Kind of like it, w it was before I had my injury where I just think about what I want to do and now I can do it. I'm um, just imagining the cube being pushed back into the screen. While implanted devices are more powerful, non-invasive brainwave readers are becoming popular and costs are starting to come down. The headsets in the Florida competition cost $500 each. In order to expand this to the general public, we actually have to embrace these consumer-grade devices and actually push them to the limit. As brainwave technology moves outside research labs, these drone races show the possibilities are just taking off. Josh Replogle, The Associated Press, Gainesville.